Hello, today we're going to talk about Spain's 17 autonomous regions. If you don't know what autonomous means, it means having the freedom to govern itself. Now, Spain does have a king, but he's more of a figurehead. He doesn't control the law. And that's the king of the entire country of Spain. But then each of these autonomous regions, they each have their own president. So each of these regions has a little more, you know, independence than each state would in the United States. Because each of those regions has its own um, president and they also are unique. So we're going to look at these different regions and to learn about them you're going to pick one of the regions that we're talking about today then you're going to research that region and teach your classmates about it i will give you a little information about a few of the autonomous regions to help you decide which one you would like to research Okay, so whenever you create your presentation, you must include where the region is in Spain, the region's flag, what the region's known for, and if the region has its own language. You can choose to teach your classmates about the, the region by creating one of these. So you get to pick. You can create a poster, you know, where you actually do the drawing. You can create a Google Slides presentation. You can make a video, or if you have some other idea, just let me know what it is to get approval. Okay, so first let's talk about Andalusia, which is down here, and it is the largest of the 17 autonomous regions. It's known for flamenco dancing, bullfighting, and gazpacho soup. It is also the birthplace of Pablo Picasso. So if you decided to do Andalusia, you would want to find a picture of their flag. You would want to talk about flamenco, maybe have like a video or a picture of what flamenco dancing is, what it looks like. Talk about what gazpacho soup is, say what's in it. And then perhaps give a little bit of information about Pablo Picasso. And if you find anything else that would be interesting about Andalusia, you could include that as well. Okay, so that's just an example of what I would be looking for if you chose this region. Next, we have Aragon, which is up here. It's known for Hota music and dance and the castle of Loarare. It has the highest of the Pyrenees Mountains. So the Pyrenees Mountains is a mountain chain over there in Europe. And the highest ones are in this region. Painter Francisco de Goya was born here. Then we have Asturias, which is up here in northern Spain. It's located on the Cantabric Sea. So it's known for fish and seafood. It's also known for cheese. Picos de Europa, which is one of Spain's best national parks, is found in this region. And you can also see Paleolithic cave art in a cave called Tito Bustillo. Next, we have the Balearic Islands, which are over here. There are four islands in the Mediterranean Sea. This area is known for the Belver Castle, and it's also known for having some very beautiful beaches. The Canary Islands is another set of islands that's found down here. The bird, the type of bird canaries, they originated here. This area is also known for surfing, bananas, and beaches, and there are also volcanoes here. And then finally, we have the Basque Country. The Basque Country is here, so it's rather close to France, which would be in this gray area here. It is the most distinct region. It really has its own culture, and it even has its own Basque language. 
which they say is unlike any other language. So it's not similar to French, which is over France, is like right here. It's not similar to Spanish, and sometimes they say it's not related to any language, and it's unknown where it where it originated. The beret originated here. <laughs> so a lot of times people think about France, and they relate that to the beret, but it actually originated here in Basque Country. And it's also known for a sport called pilota. Okay, so those are just a few of the autonomous regions. Um, you can pick one of those or any of the other 17 ones that exist. And you can use the website to find information. One good source is the Encyclopedia Britannica, which you can find here. It's a good source for reliable information.